Hey there, I'm Ari from the Tech Bars Grown. I've got another product review for you here on the channel today. This time around, I'm checking out the Dot Power Station from Acel, a company that I've known about for quite some time based on their really great HDMI and DisplayPort cables. Now, this is a company that's all about bringing you value, real products at great prices, no BS. And so when I saw them come out with a power station, I thought, you know what, I'll take a look. Now, one of their marketing points here is that they're integrating with IoT devices like your Amazon Echo or your Google Home. But you know what? You don't need one of those devices to take advantage of this power station. I will show you how it integrates and it is pretty cool. But even if you don't have a smart IoT device, you can take advantage of this new product today. You may be thinking, well, what do I need a power station for? I've got a surge protector, right? Like the one I dug up out from under my desk that I've been using for 15 years. Well, Yes, if your products haven't blown up yet, the surge protector is technically doing its job. But old fashioned surge protectors like this are really outdated and aren't really designed for use with modern electronics. Think about your smartphone with its charger, your tablet, all those other electronic devices that plug in with their AC adapters that don't fit on standard surge protectors. Also, a lot of products these days don't even come with the chargers. They just plug in via a USB receptacle and most old surge protectors, of course, don't have those built in. They have other silly things like phone and coax cable connectors for things that you probably haven't used in decades. So instead, a cell is bringing you a modern take on a surge protector. They're calling it a power station. It still protects the power delivery to your electronics to ensure that they are not damaged, but it does so much more. So let's take a look at what we get in the box and then I'll show you how it works in practice. So this is what you get out of the box. You have four receptacles for standard power cords. You have three USB type A receptacles and a type C receptacle. This panel covers the cradle for your IoT device like an Amazon Echo or Google Home Mini. This version of the power station has an 8-foot power cable. You can also get it with a 16-foot power cable. So I'm just going to use my old power strip as an example of the problems with older designs. So all my devices have these bulky AC adapters. I can't fit them together on this power strip, so I have to leave some of the outlets unoccupied. It's also not great for bulky adapters like the one I have here in my hand. Even at its best, this is a clunky and inefficient solution. Look at this alternative. I have my IoT device, the Amazon Echo, powered directly off a USB port. I also have my phone Qi charger powered directly off a USB port. I have a charging cable plugged into the Type-C adapter. I have my watt meter plugged into one of the standard receptacles, plus my computer plugged into one of the standard receptacles. This is such a clean solution. It avoids having a bunch of wall warts sticking out of your surge protector. Note that there is a limit to how much you can power off these USB receptacles, a total of 24 watts. So I have a phone charger, my Echo, which uses nine watts plus a USB Type-C, which can provide 15 watts total, but not when I have the other devices connected. Note that you can only power the first and second generation dots directly off a USB port. The third generation requires 15 watts and therefore doesn't even use USB power since USB type A ports are typically limited to 12 watts as they are with the power station. One of the really thoughtful elements of this design is these tilting power receptacles. This makes it easy for me to get my kilowatt power meter into position where I can read it easily at my desk. And by the way, while the main power switch shuts off these four main power receptacles, the USB ports are always powered, meaning you'll always have your voice assistant on and USB charging available. And here's how I have it actually set up at my desk. You'll see my kilowatt power meter, easily readable. My phone is charging. My headphones are charging. I have my Echo plugged in via USB, and I have a number of receptacles free for my monitor and other large devices. And it looks great sitting here on my desk. In case it's not obvious yet, I really love this new power station from Acel. And as soon as I'm done filming this video, it's going back on my desk where it will live for eternity. This thing is so convenient and it solves for so many problems I didn't even know I had, but I'm so glad that they have been fixed. Things like being able to put my voice assistant on my desk without it taking up additional space or falling off the desk. Things like being able to charge my wireless headphones via Type-C without having to use my PC. Things like being able to charge my camera battery via USB Type-A without plugging it into a computer. There are so many devices nowadays that just come with a USB plug that you need to 
plug in somewhere and you're scrounging around, plugging it into the wall, plugging it into some adapter you have. Who needs the adapter when your power station is the charger? This takes care of everything for you. And they're really neat design features here, like these tilting plugs, which allow me to fit in all sorts of devices that might otherwise not fit, like my watt meter that I showed you previously. Just about everything on this product is perfect, but there are a couple of things that I would change in the future, maybe a few upgrades that I would make as well. The first thing that bothered me a little tiny bit was that the power button is really tiny. This is actually pretty hard to actuate uh, unless you look at it very carefully. I'm not sure why they made that button, that switch so small. It's not like they didn't have room for a bigger switch. Uh, the other thing is kind of an upgrade feature that I'd really like to see is built-in Qi charging. You know, if you don't have a voice assistant sitting in the middle, you could put your keys in there or some coins, but why not have a Qi charger that you could fit in here and charge your phone without any cables at all? That would be so sleek. And it seems like something that would be pretty easy to retrofit here. Uh, I would like to see a cell add that. The other thing that I'd really like to see them add is type C power delivery. So you can power up your laptops, not just your smartphones and your tablets and all those other smaller devices, but a laptop via USB type C. Luckily, a cell has told me they are working on that and they plan to integrate it in the next version of the power station. So at least that's coming. And for any of you out there who are laptop owners with type C charging, that's going to be worth waiting for. Um, you might just want to hold off on buying this until that comes out because that's that feature alone is worth the price of admission. Speaking of price, it's really, really fair. This retails for $55, the black version with the eight foot power cord. There's also a 16 foot power cord, which would be good for conference rooms and the like. It also comes in white if that blends in better with your decor. The great thing about it is it's already discounted from the $55 MSRP. I've seen it for under $40 on Amazon at that price. Wow, it's a must buy if you have any modern devices that you've purchased in the past 15 years. So really, from my point of view, for the price, it's perfect. I give it five out of five stars. I'm just looking forward to the next version that integrates even more functionality into this form factor. It truly is a next generation surge protector. And that is not the way I'm ever going to describe it again. This is a power station and it really is something different and better. So really, I'm very excited. I got to try this out and I look forward to seeing Excel's next generation of power stations as well. If you have any questions about this video, please post them down below. As always, I do appreciate a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I will catch you next time.